This is a Game Caviar production. Oh, look at what I'm playing. On a computer. Modern Warfare 3. The, to be honest, man, after playing Black Ops 2 for so long and dealing with the, all that bull crap that's in that game, this game doesn't seem that bad, to be honest with you. With the, um, it, it's a lot, it has some balance issues between the guns, but not as rampant as it is in Black Ops 2. And the only thing that really bothered me in this game is the insta-kill, but that had a lot to do with lag. But I really, I haven't experienced lag while on the computer. Different servers, I, I, well, yeah, it's different servers, and I guess not that many people are playing it right now because of Black Ops 2. I could be wrong. I didn't look and see how many people were online, but I will say that having this game and playing it on a computer is a lot better than playing it on the console, and it's always been that way. So this cockpit doesn't have any seats in it, by the way. I work on airplanes, so I, I tend to see things like that, like... You need pilots just don't stand up the whole time when they're flying planes. They need seats. It's the details that count in these games. Anyway, uh, of course, Modern Warfare 4 is coming up this year. It's probably going to be a launch title for next gen consoles. Uh, that's my guess. Seeing as how everything is pointing to the next gen consoles really hitting the market this year. I don't really count the Wii U as next-gen console because it really hasn't proven itself to be next-gen. Uh, but uh, if you want to count the Wii U, yes, the next generation of video game consoles has started <sighs> prematurely. It doesn't really start until Sony and Microsoft hit the market. And like I was saying, later on this year, it's going to happen. And if... See, I fucked up right here, man. I should have went in that back room, but I was stupid. Uh, but... It, this year is what I'm hearing anywhere between August and December I've said it before in other videos so yeah that's that's basically what I'm hearing if I hear anything different I'll let you guys know and last night I got a tip that there was gonna be a really big uh, Vita announcement by Sony that turned out to be a 20 minute uh, 30 minute video on Ustream in Japanese where the only useful thing that came out of that was they're still going to remake Final Fantasy X in HD for the Vita. They actually had gameplay videos, and it did look amazing. Final Fantasy X is one of the best Final Fantasy games ever created, in my opinion. And that was a game that I had played and beat many, many of times. And it's not really... I didn't really beat that many Final Fantasy games because I just didn't have... As I got older and got a job, I had less and less time to put towards video games so Final Fantasy 10 was like the last Final Fantasy game I beat uh, the only other thing of any importance that came out of that PlayStation Vita a news conference I don't even know what they called it but anyway that press event I guess that's what I it's not really a press event because there wasn't any press it was the, the Vita video is what I'm gonna call it it's Vita video the Japanese Vita video they dropped the price in Japan Nobody knows whether that's going to transfer over to the United States or Europe or Australia or any other part of the country. But as of right now, in Japan, the price of the Vita has been cut. And I think that's for both versions, the 3G and the, uh, what is it, the, the Wi-Fi only version. Uh, let's see, the, uh, the PlayStation event for PlayStation 4 is still coming up. Uh, the way that they made that Vita of video, they made it seem like they were gonna announce like some something very major for Vita. There was like there were there was a ton of games that were uh, on there, and they all pretty much were were pretty terrible. Like um, I don't really, I didn't see any of those games getting released in America, and if they did, they're not gonna be something that I want to play for my Vita. So as of right now, the Vita is really on a chopping block, man. I can see myself trading that in towards the PlayStation 4 because I just, I don't use it. I just don't have, it just, it never took off. It was really cool at first and I was really excited to get one and I was really happy, but then it died off quickly and I, they just do not have the games on there that makes me, that, that make me want to play the Vita. The PSP had plenty of games that made me want to play it. 
I, when I got deployed, I took that thing with me and I just played it and I watched movies on it and it was awesome. The Vita just does not have that same type of magic, so it's it's going to be gone. Anyway, uh, like this video, hit me up in the comments, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, hopefully PlayStation or video game related stuff. But anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.